Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Awesome. So it's approximately 2 p.m. and the date is 12th of August and I'm recording this video as a part of series of the fraud that actually I experienced uh, very recently on 9th of August in fact. Right? 9th of August. Today's 12th of August. Now, uh, this morning I received a message from ICICI Bank. As you already know that ICICI Bank, I'm a customer to them, right? I received a message from them saying that uh, uh, this amount has been claimed by the... And then I, I just read that thing there. So I got very excited to read that what's uh, in there for me in that message. I opened that message and I, I just read that message completely. And uh, it was a kind of shocker. Why? I'll tell you. So it was written in the message that the people, uh, the transaction that you had done, that transaction has been claimed by the person, uh, the merchant. That transaction has been claimed by the merchant. Those were the exact wordings there. Which means that that particular amount of money is gone now. Okay. So I thought, okay, from one bank, the money is gone. Can't do anything now. Right, though I did whatever I could have at my part. Uh, so I thought of giving a bill to the other bank, which is Indusind Bank. Right, so I called them, I appreciated them that uh, they have done already whatever they could have. But you know what? To my surprise, what exactly happened when I called the customer care executive? She said, uh, yes, sir, thank you very much for calling in. And uh, yes, I can see, like before I could explain anything to her, she said, yes, sir, I see notes on your uh, account that on 9th of August, you had called in, right? On 9th of August, you had called in. And on that day, you could not receive the complete support. The, uh, the customer care officer, he could not help you because you disconnected the call in the middle. You're getting where the conversation is heading. So the notes on the account, they clearly mentioned there to that lady that uh, I had disconnected the call in the middle and that's why they had not taken any, any action. Tell me, how would you feel had you been on that call? I kept my calm, right? And uh, we went further ahead into the conversation and somebody there, they actually guided me to download one dispute form from, uh, from their website. See, I'll just show you. This is the dispute form that I have downloaded. It says Indusind Bank here, right? And all these details I actually need to fill. So, thing is, today is 12th of August. ICICI is telling me that the money has been claimed by the merchant and uh, it has been transferred out of the complete chain. Do you think I will get any help from Indusind Bank now? It's 12th of August. The other bank has already confirmed that the money has been claimed. Would they not have claimed money from Indusind as well? I think they would have. So I don't know what happens next. But see, I don't want to think much about it. Because uh, what my job was to report, I've done that already. Right? What happens, I cannot do anything about it. Right? I have no control over it. But I'm creating this documentary just to ensure that uh, these banks, they actually know that how their customers actually feel when and what exactly is happening on the ground, right? My initial motive to create these videos or these series of videos was to ensure that I share awareness with everyone, right? But now the situation is that, see, you, you must be looking at my beard, right? I have not been even able to get my, uh, my beard done for the past two, three days, right? It's growing every day. So thing is, instead of focusing on myself, my personal growth and uh, the, the current things which I'm actually involved into, uh, most of my time or in fact, most of my personal hygiene time and uh, like grooming time, it is getting into this particular thing, right? So what I would like to tell you is that uh, it is not always good to believe everyone, right? See, first I believed the man who did the transaction, so I underwent a fraud. And then I believed this person over the phone from the, um, from the Indusin Bank. And uh, I didn't do anything, right? After that, I, I thought that he's taking care of everything. So I didn't even follow up. I didn't even bother to call them back to check that where the story is, what the status is. It's just that, that today I rang them and this shocker came to me.
right so please be vig vigilant right and i wish you all the best so that uh, you are not experiencing things and feelings which i am going through right now okay all the best do take care see you bye bye